Hey YouTube, it's your boy Luke Luca. I'm here to walk you through this Philly Series 5 quest. If you can, smash that subscribe button while we get started here. But I know a lot of you have gotten in there and you've seen that there's this box, but no matter how much you click on it, it doesn't really seem to do anything. To get started, what you really need to do is you need to go over to the oven and you'll preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And when you do that, what that does is trigger the quest to allow it to start. And so then if you go over after preheating the oven, you'll see that it started. You go over to Philly Series 5, and when you click on it, you'll see that all of the items will appear. So let me just do that. There you go. You can see they pop in. So what you'll need to do as the first step, uh, you can find the instructions for this. Uh, once you open it, there's a, an instruction booklet. But first you need to grab this uh, little bowl that's over there, and then you'll grab the butter. And so let me just pick up the butter right here. There we go. Okay, and then what you're going to need to do is put that in the bowl so that it can be melted. So first you put that in the bowl, and then you need to put the bowl into the, uh, what do you call it, microwave. Yeah, yeah, you probably got one of these really in your house. This is a virtual one that you use for melting the butter in the virtual game. So once that gets started, you can go back over, and you're going to pick up your Oreos. Uh, I guess they were sponsored by Oreo for this. And so when you pick that up, what you can do is put that in with the butter. And uh, don't forget to pound subscribe while you're uh, listening here. And then we're going to pick up the crumbs, put them in the pan. As you can see, uh, they go right in the pan, and it uh, puts them on the bottom and the sides. Then what you're going to need to do is pick up the cream cheese. The Philadelphia cream cheese is sponsored by Philadelphia cream cheese. And what you're going to do is go over and put that in the mixer. And you'll see that goes right in there. And then you're going to need to go back after you put in the Philadelphia cream cheese and get the sugar. And then so make sure you put the sugar in. And while you're doing that, make sure to uh, give uh, this video the Aggie salute. That's the thumbs up. And we'll keep going here. So once you put in the sugar, you need to go back and let me let me go over here. you got to grab this vanilla. It's a little hard to reach. You go in and you put the vanilla in and you add that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to start mixing. And uh, there will be several uh, different types of mixing. You can just sit here and watch the animation. It will go from kind of a slower mix up to a faster mix. What you're going to do is you're going to be waiting for it to slow back down. Once it slows back down, that will tell you that it's uh, time for the next step. So let's just watch that and make sure to uh, uh, hammer the bell and, uh, after you click uh, subscribe. So uh, once you've... Once you've subscribed, uh, go back over, and uh, what you're going to do is the eggs will have appeared. And so what you're going to do is pick up an egg and go over and crack that into the running mixer. It'll let you do this, and it'll do this little animation of uh, somebody cracking the eggs in. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do this five times. There's five eggs that have to be added into the mixer. So you're just going to tap each one of those, come back over, and put them in the mixer. And you'll see it slowly changes the color of the uh, batter that you're making. Well, I don't know. It's like cream cheese filling. I don't know if you've ever had a cheesecake. I've never really had a real one, but I think these virtual ones are pretty cool. So uh, it's really good to keep going, and you got to make sure to do five eggs. And uh, make sure to thwack subscribe while you're uh, watching it so that you can see more of my uh, walkthroughs uh, for this game. And it's pretty good. Uh, now, after you've added the fifth egg, you'll kind of wonder, like, there's two more eggs in there, and you're wondering, what am I supposed to do with those? Well, those are actually a trick, because if you actually add those, it uh, destroys the quest, and so if you read the directions, you'll see you're only supposed to add five. So you let this keep mixing. It'll finish up, and as you can see, uh, now it's ready to go. So what you're going to do is you need to take the cream cheese filling and go over and dump it in uh, to the uh, crumbs that were prepared before. And once you do that, it'll be ready to go into the oven. And by clicking it, it actually uh, goes into the oven, as you can see. And so now you've got the oven, and it uh, closes up. And what you need to do is make sure to set it so that it cooks for 55 minutes. You have to go through this. It's kind of a little awkward of a uh, interface here, but you can eventually get to 55. And uh, then, yeah, then you hit bake and make sure that it bakes. And so you can go back, and you can kind of see the status of it, of how it's going. And so if you just wait here for a minute, I was just trying to show you uh, no, no, yeah, you got to click on bake time. There you go. Yeah, if you click on bake time, you'll see that it's down to 54 minutes, which means that it's going and everything's good. So what you're going to do while that's going is uh, make sure you wallop the bell uh, after you subscribe, and that way you'll get notifications. But you're going to take the uh, the white chocolate and go and put that in that bowl. Uh, it's been cleaned somehow. I don't know. It's kind of magical. It's not like real life at all. You put that in the microwave. And then you go over and you have to prepare the surface that you're going to put the top layer on. And so that is going to, uh, you put down the wax paper. And then you go back and you need to grab this. I know I'm going through this pretty quick, but I'm trying to make this easy for people to follow. And so if you can just grab the 
uh, if you can just grab uh, the the top now and go back and put it in, you'll see that goes in the fridge. It has to be cooled before it can go on. Otherwise, again, it'll uh, ruin the quest and you won't get any of your achievements. Or uh, depending on which platform you're on, they're called different things, but uh, they're all achievements. And so what you need to do is you can check on this and you can see it's not quite done yet. Um, 55 minutes has to pass in game, but there is a trick for making the time pass. If you see here, you're only down to 31 minutes. But if you're trying to get the time to pass, there is a little trick, and that is you look up in the skylight and you do what I call the skylight spin. And if you spin around a couple of times, that'll allow time to pass. And I don't know why it works; it just does. And so if you go over here, you can see now that it, uh, it's all finished baking. And so then what you can do is uh, you need to grab the oven mitts. Otherwise, you'll lose some health uh, from uh, some damage from picking up a hot pan. Uh, it's kind of like real life. Uh, and so what you do is you tap that; it'll bring it out on top. Uh, when you uh, you can let it sit there, and you need to let it sit there for a minute. Oh. Is it ready yet? Yeah, there's this NPC that appears. Uh, she apparently really likes cheesecake, and so she'll appear whenever you uh, make a cheesecake, and that tells you you're on the right path. And you come back over, and you can see that uh, when you tap on it, what it does is it sends it over to the fridge so that it can cool. It has to be cooled uh, before you can finish the construction, and so you end up having to put them both in the fridge. And then again, there's a time that has to pass. If you read the instructions, you see that it's four hours. But there's a couple of tricks to do that. What you can do is go back to the skylight spin. And if you do the skylight spin uh, one more time, what that'll do is actually cause enough time to pass that it'll appear. And so the box will have turned around, and you'll see that now your cheesecake is done. It's a pretty cool quest. It's not too hard if you uh, just follow along. But uh, make sure to uh, pound the subscribe button uh, again w if you haven't already. And uh, there's this little uh, sequence here that plays uh, d that shows it. And your, your achievements will pop up. I've already done this quest, so uh, you're not going to see the achievements pop up for me. But they will for you. Uh, make sure you do the quest. And you can see it would be pretty good. Uh, I really wish I had this cheesecake in real life, but I don't. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the quest. Uh, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. We'll see you later. Bye.